What's up YouTube, Jerry Land here with Nova Tech, bringing you my what's in my camera bag video. You guys loved my what's in my tech bag video so much, I thought I'd share with you guys what I carry in my camera bag and what I use for my camera gear on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's jump right into it. So my camera bag of choice is the in-case action camera sling pack. I absolutely love this guy. It's super minimal. It's a sling pack, which I love. I also like that it has this clip right here so that I don't have to sling this bag over my shoulder when I'm taking it off. Makes it nice and easy. Another thing I love about this pack is that it has tons of different pockets and they are large pockets for you to use. So the main compartment is actually here on the back side. It's protected very well. It's super padded, which is also comfortable for your back. And when you open it, you actually open it from here, so it's very safe. Nobody can access your camera gear from the front or behind you. And so when you open it up, right here you have actually a little uh, sleeve that has fur lining inside for a tablet or something like that. And then inside, it's super modular. It comes with this actually this uh, divider right here, and it also comes with a neon yellow insert that's made for your GoPro cameras. I definitely like that, and it's nice that you can actually take that out to give yourself some more room, which I usually do, because I'd rather keep my GoPros in a separate pouch, and that gives you a huge main compartment to work with. Next up, we actually have uh, two side pouches. So from one of the side pouches, you can actually access the main compartment, which is really nice as well for you to grab your gear real quickly. Um, on each of these side pouches, there's a little zipper pouch, and on this one especially, they have little sleeves for different SD cards as well, which is really handy. So on the other side, we have a simple little pouch right here, and you got a couple sleeves for you to put some stuff in. I usually keep my batteries in there, plus an extra zipper pouch as well. On this side as well, you'll find the two clips that clip off, and then they reveal a little pouch right here for you to put a tripod in. And they also have double clips on the other side of the backpack as well. So you can carry two tripods on you with this one little backpack. Next up, we have the top compartment, which is where I usually keep my DSLR. So I keep it right here. And I can also actually fit one or maybe two lenses in here, actually. I can fit two small Sony lenses, and it also has a little pouch right here as well. Besides that, I just think this pouch looks great. It's super durable. It's not, it doesn't have a rain cover, but it is made out of this neoprene material that is pretty water resistant. I definitely like that. It has nice strong handles for you to carry it with, and it's got tons of little knickknacks like these little hooks all around it so I can hook on my carabiners. Um, I have some extra little cords right here to lock down my tripods or whatnot if I'm carrying an extra jacket on the outside or something like that. And in general, this is just a great camera bag that I really love. If you are looking for a minimalistic camera bag that's not too big, this is the one for you right here. This is the in-case action camera sling pack. Check it out. It usually retails for 150, but it's actually on sale right now for 100 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description below for you. All right, so now that you've seen the bag a little bit, let's check out what I got inside. So first off, we'll start on the outside right here. This is the Joby Gorillapod Hybrid. I've reviewed this before. You guys have seen it in my What's My Tech Bag video. It's a sweet little Gorillapod. It's got flexible legs so you can hook it onto tree branches and basically put this anywhere. It's got a ball head, it's got a bubble level, and it's got a quick release plate. Gotta love it. Great price for this as well. Next up on the outside, I have a little LED light on the outside. This is a flexible leg LED light from Night Eyes. Night Eyes, I think. Check that out. So on this other side, I have an extendable selfie stick from a com the company called GoPole. This is made for your GoPros, and it actually floats as well, so that's super handy to have. Next up, let's go to the main compartment. So we'll release this quick release, open it up, and you'll see that the main compartment you get to from the back side, so it's nice and safe. It's very padded. Right here on the top, we have a fur-lined insert for your tablets, your iPads, your Android tablets, whatnot. But I actually keep two notebooks in here, so I have one for taking notes and one for sketching. Next up, moving here, we have my Bose QC25s. I absolutely love these. I still got to do a review of these. I know. I'm so sorry. Here they are. They're super sweet. You can listen to them in line. But my favorite thing, my favorite new accessory I picked up for these is this. This is called the Voxua. I saw that Lou from Unbox Therapy recently uh, did a review of this. I've had this for a while now. I've just been slacking, but this turns my Bose QC25s, the world's best noise-canceling headphones, into the world's best Bluetooth noise-canceling headphones. So I'll definitely do a review. Thumbs up, leave a comment if you want to see that as well. Bose QC25s, my headphones of choice. Next up, 
Just got my Ray-Bans of choice right here, the Club Masters. And I have these two pouches in the main compartment. I love these. These are just little accessory pouches from in case they're super handy. Let's check out what I got inside. There's quite a lot of stuff. Let's try to get through it. So this is a seven inch extendable, twistable, mountable arm that mounts to your cold shoe. And sometimes if I wanna adjust the mic position, I'll put it on this. Or if I wanna put an LCD monitor on my camera, I'll use this. It's super, super strong. I can actually put this on my camera and put another DSLR on, DSLR on this and it'll hold it just fine. This is awesome. This is from a company called Newer. I'll link it in the description below, just like everything else. Next up, generic LED flashlight. Always nice to have on you. I have my Rode uh, Lav Plus mic kit in here. Super handy. I think it's about 80 bucks. Great mic right there. This is the Glyph Plus for the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. Tons of phones will fit in here, but this is just a handy little tripod mount. And you'll see that I put a cold shoe adapter on here because sometimes I'll use this and I'll use the Sony Play Memories app so that I can actually monitor myself since the Sony a7S II doesn't have a flip out screen. Definitely nice to have. I have another tripod mount I actually like better in the bag. I'll show you a little later. Next up, the Rode Video Mic Me. Really handy little mic. It sounds really good as well. You can monitor your audio from here. This plugs straight into your iOS or Android device. This makes your smartphone footage sound a lot better. Rode Video Mic Me. This is from Case Logic. It's just a simple little hand strap for my camera. I actually prefer using hand straps than neck straps. This is super cheap, like 10 bucks. You can pick it up on Amazon or Best Buy. This is a little power bank from Case Co. I really like it because of the matte rubber finish and it has a built-in car charger in there. One USB port, one micro USB port, and it has a little LED flashlight on it. It's not that big a wattage. It is 3,000 milliamp hours, but it's nice and compact, so I can use it with my camera or my phone. And last up in this accessory case is the GoPro remote. Very handy to have. Next up, one more pouch right here. A lot of junk in here, but it's all handy stuff. Here we go, here's another power bank. This is the Nomad power bank. I really like this one because of the walnut finish. It looks great. This one's large as well. This is 12,000 milliamp hours. And last power bank in here is a 5,000 milliamp one. Nice and slim from Cool Reel. Love this one. My Sony battery charger, always good to have. GoPro dual battery charger, nice to have that. And this is one of my favorite new accessories. This is from a company called Easy Hood. This is a four inch cold shoe bracket that makes it so that I can put this on my camera and have a lot more cold shoe accessories than just one. So I love this, it's only four inches and I chose this compact one because I like to keep my rig small. And like I said earlier, if you'd like to check out what my full rig is, my camera gear that I actually use to film my videos, make sure to smash that like button and comment below. Next up in here is just a bunch of little GoPro adapters. You don't want to see that, not important. And lastly, an Apple power brick, gotta have that. Next up, I have another little GoPro handle. This is, I believe, called the Bobber, and it's also from the company GoPole. I really like this one. It floats, it's nice and small, easy to use, and I like that it's really bright. So if I do drop my GoPro in the ocean or I can't find it, it'll be floating, it'll be bright yellow. I should be able to see it. Next up, waterproof GoPro case. Definitely good to have. This one is really nice. This is like a tank. This is an all metal GoPro case that actually has a cold shoe adapter on it in case I ever want to vlog or do something like that with my GoPro. Handy to have on you. And of course, just the regular outside case on my GoPro Hero 4 Silver. I decked it out with a little skin right here that says hashtag Jerry Goes Pro. So if you want to check out any of my GoPro footage or pictures, check out hashtag Jerry Goes Pro. And my famous little bag. This is, I got a lot of questions on this bag. It's just a simple little a felt bag from a company called Inatech. I'll try to link it below. I don't know if they sell this bag by itself, but they, I think it came with a case that I got. Uh, I actually lessened the crazy amount of cables that were in here. So I'll give you a quick rundown. First off, I have my one terabyte Seagate hard drive. Very slim. This is the Seagate 7. Next up, I have this, one of my favorite adapters. This is the Juice System USB-C 5-in-1 adapter. And it actually has an extra USB-C port on there so that you can charge your 
uh, 12-inch MacBook while you're actually using these extra ports as well. I have quite a few of these to give away. If you want me to do a giveaway of these, comment below and I'll see what I can do for you guys. Next up, I have a 3.5 millimeter jack. I got a five-way splitter in here. I have a fully reversible micro USB cable, which I added a little lightning dongle on here. So I have micro USB and lightning all in one little braided cable. This is one of my new favorite accessories. This is a 64 gigabyte USB flash drive and one side is USB 3.0 and the other side is actually straight USB-C. I love this little guy, it's so small. I think this is from Kingston but I'll link it in the description below. Check that out. All right, that is it for the main compartment. On this compartment right here, you can actually access the main compartment as well. But in here, I keep a few pens, pencils, highlighters, red pens, whatever, you guys know the drill. And also, I love this pocket because it actually has dedicated little SD card slots in here. But I also keep my little SD card cases in here as well. Just a nice little pocket for you to grab a few little things that are in there. Same thing on the other side. Extra little pocket right here, zipper pocket. Then I have my unboxing knife. You guys have seen this. This is my wooden Dijo super minimalist knife. On here I have engraved Hebrews 11.1 and this anchor tat symbol that just looks super sick. And I've got some mahogany wood right here as well. You can see through the knife, super minimalistic. I absolutely love this unboxing knife. Next up, I actually keep three extra Sony A7S II batteries. So I have four total. The battery life on this camera isn't the greatest, so I keep those around. And you guys absolutely love this wallet. This is my wallet right here. How sweet is that? There's a little lever right here, and this is how I get to my cards. Fits five to six cards. And even if you only have one card in here, that thing is not falling out. This is a great wallet. I'll link it below. It's called Secred. I want to do a review of this, actually. This is one of my favorite things that I carry with me every day. And that is it for that pocket. Last pocket right up here at the top is where I actually keep my camera. I have a little neutral density filter right here. This is actually a polarizer filter. Next up, I have my Jaybird X2s. I have the camo green model. I love this one. I really like that it's a matte black case as well, unlike all the other ones that are a white case. All right, next up up here, this is the Shoulder Pod S1. Reviewed it last time, I really like this one. I like this one better than the Glyph Plus. Here I have a Zeiss 35mm f2.8 lens. I also have a 28mm f2.0 lens. This is actually a friend's lens, just borrowing this. And then I'm filming with the 28mm right now. And here, my pride and joy, the Sony a7S II. I absolutely love this camera. Again, if you guys want me to do a full camera gear, camera setup video, make sure to like and comment below for that. And last but not least, you'll see this little cap that protects my uh, sensor as well as on my lenses. It protects my lenses. I found a little trick with Sony caps, just if you wanted to know. If you take the lens cap and the actual camera cap, you can actually lock them together like that. How sweet is that? And that's what's inside my camera bag. If you guys like that dope intro, we have Vinod to thank. So thank you so much for making that for me. If you guys are interested in helping me out, hooking me up, I'm trying to figure out a new intro. So if you've got some skills in After Effects, hit me up on Twitter. Also, if any of you mix your own music and you want it featured on this channel, on these videos, I'd love to check those out. So hit me up on Twitter as well. If you guys like this video today, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you guys want to see more of my camera gear and how I set up my videos, make sure to leave a comment below letting me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jerry Land with Nobatech, and I'll see you guys in the next one.